You know, if we wanted to be totally accurate with this segment, the title of it should probably be This Week in Paternalism or This Week in Horrible Misguided Conclusions Based on a Deeply Ingrained Sexist Worldview or something like that. I mean, This Week in Misogyny has a nice ring to it, but I'd admit that the vast majority of people we talk about every week don't hate women. It's just that they're idiots. I have a few stories that demonstrate that perfectly this week. All the people at issue in these stories aren't exactly acting out of hate so much as stupidity. But as you'll see in their warped and deranged worldview, I'm sure they all think they're acting out of love. We'll start off with Nigerian pastor Ola Benga Ola Deho, who hopes to keep all the ladies of the world out of eternal hellfire by restricting themselves to missionary position. Or doggy style, I guess. Or spooning, or the butterfly, or the Viennese oyster, but no cowgirl stuff. According to a recently uploaded YouTube clip, Aladejo claims that God revealed to him that married men who allow their wives to get on top during sex are risking hell for both themselves and their partners. Now, I guess I could point out just how few women are devastated by the fact that they can't ride this dude like a jet ski, but that would be too easy. Instead, I'll focus on the specific torment that awaits all the heathenist harlots who have the audacity for non-comatose sexual positions. Apparently, his God-induced vision of other people fucking included a glimpse of the part of hell where people are chopped into bits and served up to demons on platters. And in a bizarre way, that allows me to close on a point the good pastor and I agree on. Ladies, if you get on top during sex, you're at a higher risk of getting eaten later. Next, we'll turn to something that might have been intended as a compliment, or something. For this one, we'll turn to Saudi cleric chic Yahya Eljana. Now, I'm not sure exactly who he was trying to compliment here, but while discussing the specific properties of the virgins that await devout Muslims in heaven, he articulated a few weird things that apparently he looks for in a woman. And when I say weird things, I'm not talking about a gal who's into scat play. I'm talking about women who, for example, have, quote, breasts like pomegranates, end of quote. Now, honestly, I'm not sure what pomegranate qualities a Muslim cleric looks for in a tit. Maybe he likes them red and filled with seeds coated in a water-laden pulp. I'm not sure. But he also added this terrifying notion. According to Aljana, when you fuck your virgins, they regrow a hymen the following morning. So they're virgins again the next time you fuck them. So whether he realizes this or not, the message he's sending to Muslim women is clear. Fuck someone quick. You don't want to die a virgin. And finally, we'll move from the progressive enclaves of Nigeria and Saudi Arabia to a truly backward and regressive location, the Palin household. Bristol Palin is back in the news decrying the evils of birth control out of what I'm sure she believes is an earnest effort to keep people out of hell. In a recent entry into the record of her psychological descent, she calls her blog, she railed against Washington State's policy of providing free birth control to any gal that wants it without parental consent. Now look, Bristol. I know in redneck families like yours, you like to keep your sex lives in the family, but most of us weren't in a position where dad was taking such a proactive interest. But the dumbest thing on the blog, of course, is when she reminisced about her youth and how the last thing she was thinking about when she was a kid was birth control. I mean, what kind of corrupted harlot would have to think about birth control when they were a teenager? I mean, other than girls who want to wait longer than Bristol Palin did to get pregnant. Look, dummy, Washington's birth control program has reduced the teen birth rate by about 40% in five years. And in case you're not swayed by things that actually matter, it's decreased the rate of teen abortions by about 42%. So take note, conservatives. Bristol Palin wants Washington State to murder more of those four-celled babies you love so much. Go get her. And with that, I'll hand things back over to Noah and Heath.